Hi, and welcome to Young Onset Parkinson's Disease Q&A. Could you please talk about trauma and Parkinson's? It's well known that a traumatic experience, whether physical or emotional, can release Parkinson's, so to speak, from your genetic template. That's all we know so far. Anecdotally is the only thing I have for you here. From talking with other people with Parkinson's and from reading the biological links and the markers, as we have in several articles I can cite below, there is a connection. We don't really know exactly how it works or what it is. And that's not to say that all trauma can cause this, but certainly trauma like a brain injury can, as we know from a most famous example of Muhammad Ali. Also, and again, I don't know his medical history, so it could have been something else as well, but that's part of it. And there's plenty published by the Mayo, Mayo Foundation and Michael J. Fox, Parkinson Foundation, linking concussions and so on and so forth to dementia and all kinds of neurologic disorders. So that's my answer for that. However, on a personal note, I will say that I was diagnosed during a time when I was going through a divorce or just before a divorce when things weren't going too great. Was the chicken, the egg, who knows? I mean, part of it was the problems with Parkinson's. And also, I had lost five friends. They had died very close to one another, three of whom I was extremely close with and had been um, partnered with at one point, one of those people. I also noticed that when things pile up, like, for example, people who are in the armed forces, they go in with the all for one and one for all philosophy and come out with this individualism, this rugged me first, and it's very hard to re-enter society, even if you don't see action, so to speak, even if you weren't involved in actual combat, it can be extremely traumatic. And there happens to be a high incidence of neurologic, in particular Parkinson's with vets. Statistically speaking, I don't have those numbers. Again, this is all anecdotal. This is all based upon things I have heard, witnessed, shared with others, and my own personal reflections. So that's my answer for you. Trauma is worth a look. Check out all the articles. You can find many of them yourself. And the research continues on that. Next question. When would you tell people that you have Parkinson's? When is it appropriate? Letter goes on to say this person is fairly asymptomatic. Um, you have some time if you're asymptomatic, of course. Um, there will come a time when there's really no choice. Um, I, I didn't wait because I want to change the face of Parkinson's. I don't like the shaky illustration of the the old dude that you see when you Google the word Parkinson's. I wanted to change that dynamic and show that we are a vibrant, multicultural, many ages, like from everywhere, all different backgrounds and experiences, and that we are diverse. We're just, we've got a lot to offer, not just one particular type or range of Parkinson's, so to speak. I hesitate, the reason I'm hesitating to speak in terms of like where you are in the progression of the disease is because I don't like that scale they use, like I'm in one, two, three, four, you know, I, like that just doesn't suit us very well. It's not beneficial when they talk about the stages. I mean, I wouldn't focus too much on what stage you are. I'd focus on living well now as we do with the Davis Finney Foundation, the World Parkinson's Congress, and many other organizations like the Brian Grant Foundation, Michael J. Fox, or so many, Parkinson's Foundation, American Parkinson's Association, APDA, there's just so many. I'd go on and on, there's so many numbers too in letters. I have CRS, by the way, can't remember shit, so there you have it. What I would like to add to that last part, if you're going to tell people by going on a date versus something in the professional, range, I would say, disclose rather quickly, as soon as possible. 
Um, people like to know what they're working with, and you learn a lot about people based upon how they respond to finding out you have a progressive degenerative brain disease. If you really want to know who someone is, become someone who is in uncertainty, who may bring chaos, and who may not know what the next few years looks like. And with that, I wish you well. I hope this Q&A helped out. If it did, please pass it along to someone who could use it. If it didn't, scroll on through. There will be more soon. Thank you.